Hey guys, Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage OKC News, and we are here at Academy of Martial Arts in Southwest Oklahoma City, and we are so excited to be bringing you pre-fight interviews for Rage in the Cage 36. This is such an important fight card for us because it's April 17, 2015. That weekend marks the 20th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing, and it also marks the second annual fundraiser that we are doing for the Denny family to help knock out debt for them that they've incurred over the past 20 years since the Oklahoma City bombing. And, you know, we are excited to be talking to Ken Coulter tonight. Ken, I know that this is such an important event to you. Last year, you were the headliner. You were the main event for this fight. And, you know, I could see it in your eyes the first time you met the Denny family and how important it was for you to um, to take care of them and try to help them kind of, um, you know, we can't take away the pain that they felt the past 20 years and, you know, the, the physical issues that Brandon suffers from. But we can help take care of their financial situation. So how do you feel going into this again? Um, second time around, I hope to, you know, th sell this out again. It's for a great cause, and I'm going to try to be here every year. So this is my second time doing this. We're going to look to do this every year. So everybody come out and support us. You know, it's just a good thing, and it's a real good feeling to be a part of doing something that is not helping myself but helping those in need. And so I just encourage everybody to come out and get on board with us, and, you know, let's sell this thing out. Well, that sounds awesome. Definitely want to sell this thing out. And like you said, we're going to do this event for the Denny family until we can positively say that we have knocked out 20 years worth of debt that they've incurred. And, you know, we would love to say that this year is going to be it. This year we're going to take care of this family. Um, but if not, we'll be back again next year and we'll make sure that we have, we can 100% say that we have taken care of them and they are beginning their lives financially on a new slate. So um, let's talk a little bit about this fight. I mean, it's a very important fight for you. It's a rematch for that 155 amateur title belt. It's something that you've wanted for so long. You didn't win it. You went against Jose Martinez. Um, it was a tough battle. Um, you didn't go home with the, the win that night. In fact, it was your first loss of your career. So looking back at that, Ken, I mean, what do you feel were um, the issues that night for you? What have you learned from it? And what are you doing differently this time? The issue was just pretty much a bad weight cut. I mean, my training, I felt like the gym trained me well. I knew what to do, but it was rough. It's rough being dehydrated out there. I just gave it my all. I mean, I trained just as hard, but probably a little harder because I know he's the only one that beat me. I do want that belt, and I don't really see myself passing it up again. It's one of those things to where it's two dreams that went down the drain, staying undefeated and walking out with that belt. So, I mean, it was a hurtful event, and uh, really, I didn't like it. I sat and dwelled on this for probably six months. Six months to the day will be the rematch of this fight and so I've been waiting for six months to pretty much redeem myself I felt like I lost against a worthy opponent so I'm not really down on that aspect of myself I feel good about that but I just didn't feel good with my performance I felt like I was flat I'm a lot better fighter than that and I just want to come out and put on a better show for everyone well and you know Going back in the past and talking about this past year, is this 155 title belt, you were supposed to have this opportunity a long time ago. I mean, this is like um, a huge deal. And you had a fighter that, you know, you went through a time where you were suspended for being late for an event. So you couldn't fight for that initial 155 title belt. Um, another fighter got that belt. And the night that he was supposed to defend it to you, he ended up being rushed to the hospital. So it has been a several month long ordeal for you and so I'm sure that you're ready at this point just to be able to win or lose put this all to rest that's it right there I mean win lose a draw I'm not gonna leave anything in the ring I'm not gonna worry about pacing myself that's what my cardio is for so I'm just gonna come out and I'm gonna fight my fight I do not feel like I'm gonna get beat when I fight my fight but if I play into his fight again it's gonna be the same result so that's what the whole game plan is keep him uncomfortable let's keep him on his back this time let's see what he does taking a lot of damage because I I pretty much took everything he had to dish out and it wasn't pretty it's not pretty watching but it's not gonna be another fight like that it's just gonna be a you know battle and I'm coming I'm ready I'm prepared my team has me ready and I'm just ready to go out there and get my belt. Ken we are standing here right now in your new home at Academy of Martial Arts you've been here for just a few months um, how do you think the training here has prepared you to take on this battle in the cage? The training is awesome I mean I'm around a lot of good guys in this gym especially coach Kendrick I mean he is amazing this guy teaches with so much intensity so many great bodies around here to work with and so much knowledge I mean you can you can't do anything but get better here. I mean, it's just one of these places to where I can grow here, and I feel like I'll be here for a long time. There's nowhere else to go for me. I mean, it's just make this a home, and let's bring home the belts. 
2015, Ken, I mean, this is going to be your year. It's going to be the year that you are most likely going to be going pro. So tell me about your long-term goals in MMA. Well, I look to drop out of the 55 weight class eventually because I'm just, it's kind of hard to attempt to even keep the size. But as far as in the future, we look to go to 45 and I'm going to trash the weight class. That's the only plan we got. We're going to make it to the UFC, and then I'm going to continue to do the same thing. I'm ready to perform against some of the best in the world, and now it's time to actually go out there and show everyone else that I, how I feel. So I'm just ready to go, and, uh, you know, I'm not I'm prayed about it, and I feel ready, and there's just nothing to stick around at the amateur level for. This is why we're watching a rematch to the only guy that beat me because there was no one else to fight. So we're going to take this fight, and it's going to be another lesson learned, no matter whether I win or lose. But I'm going to take this, and we're going to go pro, and I look to do great things and hopefully keep helping people and just being the person I am. Ken, we've done this interview. You and I have stood here many times because, obviously, you know, you fought for Rage in the Cage quite a, quite a few times. So let's do something differently today, and I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. Let's talk about your good memories. W what do you consider – just thinking back over your career, your best memory that you've had so far in the cage or involved in MMA altogether, where, whether it's at a gym training or what do you think is your best moment? I don't know. I think a year ago, fighting for the Denny's, I don't think anything could top that. I was the main event. I won in 59 seconds. And this was actually a guy who was better on the ground than I was or what, you know, was portrayed. But I think this is most definitely going to be the cherry on top of everything and getting to come back and do it again I mean it just makes it all that much worth it so this is going to be probably the highlight of my career I don't see of too many other things that I'm going to do that's going to top this you know maybe get my own charity involved with some other things but this is it pretty much if you ask me what was the best thing it's fighting for the Denny's. How would that feel, Ken, knowing how you feel about the Denny's, to, at the end of the night, be able to put that 155 belt around your waist with the Denny family standing there watching you? That'd be awesome because I know they're, you know, I'm starting to get a relationship with them. They've, they've known of me, and I mean, it's just become fun, and I would just like to win that in front of them and go hang out in the crowd with a nice piece of merchandise. All right. Well, Ken, thank you so much for being here. Always. You've never missed pre-fight interviews. I appreciate that you're always here for Rage in the Cage. You're always available for the radio show, and we appreciate you. Hey, guys, don't miss his amateur, what could be his last fight as an amateur. So we're looking forward to that. Come see us April 17th, 2015 at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market. You can get your tickets from any of these fighters at Ticketstorm.com or at any Metro Party Galaxy location, and we really hope to see you there. Thanks for joining us.